Hi everyone! Unfortunately, this week's Morrowind Mondays had some problems that resulted in losing the audio. Fortunately, I do record my microphone's audio separately from the games, so that was all totally fine. Ultimately, I had two options, to either totally re-record this entire week's video or go ahead without in-game audio. Being as Morrowind has little in the way of integral in-game audio, like fully voiced dialogue, I went with the latter option and just threw in the game's soundtrack. I'm hoping that this issue is tied to a recent update in my recording software, so it shouldn't happen again, but in the unlikely event that it does, feel free to let me know what you think in the comments if you'd like. Going forward, would you rather re-recordings completely, or just this? Anyway, thanks for your understanding, and without further ado... Oh my god, you scared me! Holy crap! Alright, well shit, let's take them all. <laughs> How many ghosts do you think are gonna appear? Hopefully a shitload. Oh my god. I hope an absolute shitload of ghosts just pop out and start to go, Woo! Oh my gosh. Let's do it, baby! Give me all them ghosts! Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Morrowind Mondays! That's right, it's the sound of battle as a cliff racer approaches. And look, where else are we? Why, we are at Mel Kashishi, of course. We're back here. Big thanks to, uh, Je good lord. Big thanks to gentle viewer, uh, Alex, for telling me, hey, we missed a few things in Mel Kashishi. Uh, most importantly, a propylon index. And my gosh, we're gonna go up in there and look for it after we kill this guy. <laughs> Which is just never going to happen. This guy is invincible. Look, I think this is because we're not supposed to be able to attack them from above, right? You're meant to fight them from below. Look at that. Yeah, their hitbox is way down below. Jeez, I'm Pete. Look at that. Holy crap. Man, we shouldn't have done that. We should have just let them out there. Good lord. Look, now they've won. The Cliff Racers have been victorious this day. All right, let's leap on the heck back up here. Oh, gosh, are we going to make it? Oh, my God. Yeah, holy crap. Man, got to love that ring. All right, here we go. Ugh. There we are. All right. Now, I also whipped up another fantastic new ring. Uh, because you know what? I figured, hey, you know, it's about time I finally did one of these. We've talked about it a little bit. I've ruminated on it. And you know what? It's finally time. That's right. Check it out. Oh, whoops. That's not it. <laughs> there it is. My Nerevar senses. Huh? Right. So, you know how, like... Batman has his Batman senses in his Arkham games. Geralt of Rivia is like, oh, I'm gonna need to look around this crime scene for some some shit. I better activate my Witcher senses. I'll need to use my Witcher senses to tell which way the monster went. Well, bam, guess what we got? Nerevar senses. Boom! Check it out on the mini-map. Damn, look at that. What is it? Is that those secret woot loots we're looking for? I think it fucking is. Oh my god, is it actually up there? Because we scoured everywhere around here. Here, let's... It's only five five seconds. Like, pro, oh, look at that. It's, there's, there is actually... Shit, I think it is up there. All right, let's go on up there. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? That's actually pretty genius. Because guess what else is up there? Oh, fuck. Whoa! We just kind of smashed into, into a wall there. All right, here we go again. Oh, oh, we're going, oh, there it is. Yep, look. Check it out, everybody. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but okay. See? Let's, let's uh, activate Kajito Vision here so we can see in the dark. Ah, yes. A Daedric Longbow is up here as well. Now, isn't that genius? Because remember, we saw... Oh, look, there, there is actually, I think, one down there. You, you maybe not can't... You can't maybe make it out on the YouTube end because of bitrate problems. But I can just barely make out the tail end of an arrow, a Daedric arrow. But you'll remember, there were a few stuck into that pillar right there. And they were angled as if they were shot... Um, at a certain uh, arc or curvature, right? And, although it could have been leaping up from from down in that trench all the way up there, probably more likely that it was up here. And how about that? That's some, like, environmental puzzle solving, even so. Like, environmental storytelling? No, get, get in here with the environmental puzzles, right? Anyway, we got some Daedric arrows, a Daedric longbow. We've already got a longbow, though. Let's see. A Phelan Serrano Propylon Index. All right. Have we actually been to Phelan Serrano? Phelan's Marion? Wait, 
Did I just misread that one? No, Phelan Serrano. All right, I don't know if we've been to Phelan Serrano. We may not have been. Huh, all right, fair enough. Let's see. I don't know. It may be a place that we'll find on the way over to the Cavern of the Incarnate, which is exactly where we're going to go. Anyway, look, Scroll of the Gambler's Prayer. Man, this person must have been up here doing some gambling. Look, they had some levitate potions. For whatever reason, they were afraid to come back down, even though they probably could have easily levitated the heck out of here. Jeez, it's just like old really always said way back at the uh, Sidonine Inn. Hey, remember to take with you a divine or receive intervention in the scroll, because you never know, Joe, what's going to happen. What terrible crap's going to befall you on your grand adventures. All right, let's pop this sucker open. Let's get an apprentice lockpick here at the ready. Boom. Oh, what's inside? Iron flame mace. Uh, that ain't great, is it? Now let's keep it in there. Let's see. Well, there is an exquisite ring, which is great, because, you know, we just used one up. A ring of sphere of negation. I mean, it's kind of valuable. At least for its weight. Let's see. Is this Invada? Oh, RK the enemy. Hmm. Darkest darkness. And some kind of shit potions. One of them is even spoiled. Huh. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Been up here for a while, huh? All right, now let's check again. I think we got everything, or at least everything that's important. Definitely wanted to get the, the Propylon Index. Let's see. Oh, whoops. Activate the local map. Oh, there is actually still something here. Oh, is it picking up this? Ah, yes, I think so. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Good to know. Good to freaking know. All right. So it does actually detect things inside of chests. All right, I was wondering if it was just working on that scroll out there, but no. All right, let's just throw this thing on the fire. Let's cook it up. Boom, there you go. That's called smelting. How about that? Oh, all right. Let's get the heck out of here all the way on over to the Cavern of the Incarnate. Look, our carry weight is a little close to the uh, to the freaking edge. I mean, worst case scenario, maybe we'll drop a Daedric Longbow somewhere because, you know, we've already got one in our collection because we got it from that fantastic quest. But yeah, I decided to come back here because, hey, if I don't do this, I'm going to totally forget, and we've already marked it with eggs. So that's a clear fucking sign that, hey, we've already been here. We've already done the deed, right? So gosh, we got to come back and... Oh, crap. Messed up the Mario time there. Oh, oh man. Now we're really messing it up. Oh, there we are. Woo! But yeah, that's a that means, holy crap, we really had to come back and check it out and look for that sweet-ass index. We got to collect them all, huh? Good lord. Of course we do. Of course we freaking do. We gotta get all of them. Man. All the cliff racers have suddenly decided, hey, you know what? We've finally realized how to actually reach you. We're, we're not gonna be dumb as shit and just keep colliding with the tower. Good lord. These cliff racers were drinking something. Man. When you're up this high, you see a shitload of them. We just killed three. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh my god, six of them, just within viewing range. Oh my god, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Oh wait, oh shit, did we count these? Oh my god, I don't even know. There's so many. There's either like ten or twelve here. There's so many that I'm actually losing count of them. Just within viewing range. Just from here, I can see all of them. Good god, man. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Ugh, we're gonna actually just slay the crap out of them. Holy shit. Where did these two even come from, man? <laughs> Where did these two- Wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! What a day! Whoa! Let's get the hell out of here! Oh my god! Good lord, dude! Oh, jeez, look at us. We're really climbing around on these mountains, on these ridges. Holy crap. Or one hell of a ridge racer. I guess that's why- Hey, look. Are those some dead ones that we've slain before? Yeah, holy crap! Wow, I guess they haven't despawned yet from the last time we were leaping around here. All right, fair enough. Man, we're just littering the the uh, the cliffs here with cliff racers. Oh my gosh, they'll have to call them cliff dead. <laughs> dead guys. <laughs> we're workshopping it. We're workshopping that one. All right, it's a work in progress. Let's open the mini-map in case there's some sort of little fun dungeon along the way. We definitely want to try and hit up those dungeons that they mentioned uh, as far as directions to the Cavern of the Incarnate, right? There's that sort of Daedric Shrine. There might be some kind of fantastic woot loot within. Oh, who knows? Good lord. Man. But, on the flip side, we do have this belt on. That ain't great. It's our Super Championship belt. Let's see, where is it? Yeah. Malipu Ottoman's belt? 
I mean, it ain't great because our other one gave us like so much extra carry weight. My God, I love me some carry weight. I love to carry around shit, but not so much to where, you know, I like to pop open the console command. Some folks, they get annoyed by the carry weight and they, they just, you know, pop open the console command, give themselves like 50 billion strength or whatever the hell they, they please and just have a crap ton of carry weight. That way, you know, you don't ever have to worry about that. And you know what? I say, hey, if you feel like doing that, fucking do it, man. Do do that shit. You do you. That's that's what I love about these single player games, huh? You can always just customize it to how exactly you want to play. You don't have to ever worry about, oh, am I letting down the team? Oh, am I not performing well enough? No, you don't have to worry about the easy for all you want. You could just hang out in the towns forever. You could download a whole bunch of titty mods and just look at a whole bunch of titties and stuff. Man, having a one hell of a damn time. Look, Ibar Dad. Wow. If you've been watching the new Vegas playthrough, you've heard of Cave Dad. Well, you've heard of Cave Dad. Now look at Ibar Dad. <laughs> what the hell? All right, let's lay down an egg here. We're going inside. This seems like a kind of uh, six house base, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. Oh no, definitely not. It must just be a basic bandit one. How can you tell? Because the six house, they love their like cherry blossom strawberry flavored candles. <laughs> what the hell is with that, by the way? Why do they always have that? Oh, what the hell? This is some kind of scamp crystallization realm. A dead scamp. With an iron short sword. Oh, good night, sweet prince. All right, we'll take some of your rasulas, though. Wow, we really shouldn't. Not without our, our fun belt on. Well, look who it is. Who is this? Gosh, I hope this isn't like some kind of secret vampire den. Hey, who are you? Wow, look at this. This is like Blighttown. <laughs> huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Gordon, destroy him. I'm not ready to fight that big boy on my own. Gordon, I'm scared as shit. Gordon, get him. Get him, Gordon. Come on, Gordon. Come on. For Christ's sake. Gordon, do it, do it, do it. Ugh, I don't want to get hit by him. I'm scared, Gordon. I'm scared to shit. Shit, let's see. We have some, like, scrolls that are going to give us some range damage. Look at this. Damage strength, damage health. Look at that. On touch. Oh, look at that. Scroll of Baleful Suffering. Look, it actually doesn't do anything in terms of damage, does it? Hmm. Let's see. We could just try and throw down some fireballs, huh? Some fireballs could be fun. Look at that. On touch. Oh my gosh, let's just try and lo Well, fireballs are actually a real fucking bad idea for this lady, aren't they? <laughs> now that I think of it, that's a real bad idea. She's she's a Dunmer. She's gonna be resistant as hell. Let's see, scroll of uh, some bullshit on touch, touch, self, self, target. No, that's cure blight, target, target. We're looking for targets. Ugh, fire damage. I mean, I guess... Oh, look, hang on. We've got elemental bursts, all sorts of the elements. All right, hell yeah, let's rain down the elements. Oh my gosh, with their powers combined, I'm going to kick your ass. Ugh! How do you like that? Oh my gosh, look at that. Their health is like half already. How about this? You want some more? You butthead? Ho-ho! Oh my god, nailed her! Holy shit! Wow, and look, Gordon has like done some sort of teleportation maneuver. Excellent work, Gordon. Excellent. Commendations from me, pal. All right, let's quick save. Oh shit, what is that down there in the corner? Is that a scamp? Oh, a scamp, of course. Oh my god, there's quite a few of them down there. Wow. Oh, winner, winner! Ow! Oh, they're friendly. No, they're not. All right, or at least this one isn't. Is this one friendly? No, it's not. All right, eat a butt. Sorry, scamps. Oh my gosh, I'll make use of you in the future. An old oblivion land, huh? Old scampy is coming out to look around and have some fun. But here, I'm just going to kill them all. <laughs> all right, let's see. What have we got? What have you got? You had some kind of fantastic crossbow? Actually, it's a pretty bad crossbow. It's not great at all. You didn't really have anything worthwhile. An expensive skirt? No thanks. Extravagant amulet? We don't need the money. Nope. Here, we'll just, uh... We'll lay your stuff right there. That way, you know what? We know that we've been through here. Take off your shirt, or your robe, I should say, and your sword. Sort of leave our mark on the world. Alright. Let's pop this sucker open. See what's inside. Give me that loot loot. Oh, yes. Got it in one, and a lockpick. Also got it in one. Man, we're getting good at this. All right. Uh, restore endurance. Garbage, but it's worth a lot. You know how I just said that, hey, we're not really uh, in need of money. <laughs> well, you know what? When that's, there's that much value, I can't help myself. I have a problem. All right. Let's see. What all else do we have down here? Miner's picks. Whole bunch of trash. Look, picking it. Picking everything. Does this need to be picked? 
No, it does not, but look, it's... Oh! It's some sort of foul sorceress! Hello! Oh, no! Embrace Eternity! Oh, my gosh! Boom! Look at that! Wow, you didn't stand a chance with your, uh... Silly racial debuff there. Taking extra damage to my magical enchantment. Belt of Jack Trades. Huh. That's an interesting way of putting that. But, uh, you know what? I'll take it. Uh, Fortify Willpower, sure. We'll just guzzle these right on the spot. Why the heck not? Let's see. What else do you have here? Oh. Is this Alante? Oh, it is her! Huh. What is this? She has some sort of note. Ring of Night Eye. I mean, we don't really need that. We already have Kajito Vision, which is far superior. A plain key. Some Cyrodiilic brandy. Look at this. Some more potions. Here, let's drink up, baby. I'm thirsty. Swift swim. Mmm, make me like a fish. Ooh, make me like a bird. I'm a fish bird. Make me like a cat. Ooh, I'm a fish bird cat. Ooh, give me... Uh, I don't know. Fish is also... I mean, we're getting a little redundant here. We're just... Look, gosh, we really don't need to drink all these. Let's just store at least one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's read her notes. Oh, they're a little lengthy. All right. At last, after these many years of searching, I'm sure I've located the proper caverns. The crystals are just as the stories describe. Wrapped in crystalline embrace, the silver-pierced brow of the traitors shall ward his sleep. This must be the place. This must be Mordrin Hanin's tomb. Badama and I have established quarters here. No one shall steal my discovery to imagine what treasures are hidden within this stone. Those guild fools. Oh shit, is this for a thieves guild quest? Mocking, or maybe mages guild. Mocking my st- Well, usually when people say the guild, they're referring to the thieves guild, right? Usually, but I don't know. That, eh, maybe not. Maybe not in this case. Maybe not in Morrowind times. Uh, mocking my studies. The powers I shall unleash upon their miserable skins. Definitely Mage's Guild, right? <laughs> Come on. This is like a Rana uh, progenitor version. Tomorrow, we will summon workers to begin excavation. The summoning was successful. Although Badama lacks concentration, we nearly had a storm Atronach, but her poor skills allowed it to escape. We shall make do with vermin. To think of the earth we could have riven with the Atronach. Now, we are forced to watch the scamps scrape the surface with picks and shovels. Hideous, miserable creatures. Otherworldly vermin, bastards, fodder for my cauldron. Scamps are for the most untrue of servants. I should enlist the efforts of the giant rats of the wilderness and have greater success. Whining, thieving, lazy, and treacherous, treacherous scamps. One attempted to flee, stealing a, a number of potions in his flight. I made short work of him. Perhaps the others will think deeply before following his path. Unfortunately, I was unable to locate one of my best potions of rising force. Oh man, maybe the scamp drunken is flying around somewhere. Success! I have discovered the traces of worked stone, which when inspected closely, were obviously of Daedric worksmanship. After great effort and much moving of earth and stone, the remaining blockage fell away with a great splash into a pool of loathsome water. The foul and noisome air which escaped nearly choked me. The scamps broke into a great frenzy, trying to hurl themselves through the opening, shrieking with either terror or joy. The creatures are clearly insane. Oh my god, could you imagine that? A whole bunch of scamps just piling on top of each other, trying to cram themselves through a little hole. I've been forced to erect a gate at the opening. The scamps still attempt to escape into its maw. I've placed Badama as sentry to monitor the worthless creatures. Perhaps they'll tear her to pieces in her sleep. No, I still require her talents in the upcoming search. The baleful effects of this place are telling on me. I've only just managed to distill some potions to aid us in our endeavor. Soon, though, we will enter the chambers and finally realize a life's ambition. Still, though, we find the... Still, though we find the tomb, it may be for naught 
if we cannot locate the key guardian. Sometimes I hear voices in my name, in my dreams, calling out on, on Mordor, Morden's name. Is it terror or adulation? Oh my god, what the hell? This must be like some kind of mage's guild quest. Holy shit, what do you have up in here? Journeyman shit? Eh, no thank you. Pass. Alright, let's see. A hammock, and let's pick all this crap. Let's see. Get the probe going on. There we go. And get our pick. There we are. Nice. Spoiled potion of uh, cure poison. Corpse preparation. Man, Envada Kavada Kavakis is very popular, isn't it? Alright. Here, let's rest up. Oh, we can't. There are actually enemies. Probably more scamps, huh? Probably. Oh gosh, we can't hardly get out of here because of our levitate. There we go. Pop this sucker open. Kajito vision it up. And let's do some delving. Oh shit, look, it's actually underwater. Man, maybe we should have saved that water breathing potion. <laughs> eh, we don't need it. We'll regen way faster than it hurts us, right? Damn, we're good as hell. Alright, let's see. Hello? Oh man, they dug too deep. They dug into the near neighboring Daedric ruin, didn't they? Oh shit. Hey, you're not Gordon at all. You monster! It's Goatee Gordon back from the fucking grave! Look at that, Gordon. I've slain him in combat. Are you proud of me? You should be. Let's see. Let's pick this sucker. There we go. Ancient chest. Oh my gosh, an ancient one. Special floor of Tamriel. Ancient rusted Daedric key. Oh, cryptic. Some gold. Darkest darkness. Look, bargain restore luck. Eh, that is so useless. Look, the value on these is... Puny. 1.5 units of weight for only 5 gold? Holy shit. Look, the heart bite ring is more valuable, honestly. Yeah, we'll, eh, I guess we'll take it. Why the heck not? There we go. Alright, let's see. Anything else good up in here? Holy crap. Look at all this shit going on. Man, this is this is a real freaking place, isn't it? Alright, let's see. Anybody up in here? Look, there's some bloat. Alright. Ugh, look at all this shit. Oh my gosh. The water is really messing with my vision. I don't know about you. All right, let's try and maneuver on up here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can we? Can we even do it? Can we even manage it? I don't think so. All right, let's drink some of these potions that we picked up. Look, we really need to be drinking more of these potions. We have a potion of night eye here. We may as well use it, huh? Let's see. Um, Let's uh, let's detect some enchantment. We have our Nerevar sense, but eh, why the hell not? Let's see. Potion of Night Eye. Let's see. Quality. No, 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 no. Let's see. Potion of Heroism. Is it alphabetized? I'm not too sure. Let's see. I don't think so. Yeah, it must not be. Alright, yeah, I'm just dumb. Alright. Let's see. Oh, was that it right there? No, that was invisibility. Fuck me. Man, we have so many damn potions! Good lord! Well, let's at least drink one of these. There we go. Let's see. We need that to get up there. Where the heck is this Night Eye potion? Wait, was that it? Potion of Light. Fine, it'll have to do. Alright, there we are. Nice, we'll grab some bloat. That shit's good. Excellent. Alright. Now, what is up here? Anything? Anyone? More scamps, perhaps? Oh, look, are we sneaking around some sort of back passage? Oh, yes, we are. We absolutely are. Holy crap. All right, sure. Awesome. All right, well, let's head on back in here into the watery depths. Jeez, and Pete. Hey, Gordon, what's up? Are you having fun spelunking in here, too? No? Okay, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's see. Let's suck down some of these mana potions. Get more Kajito vision going. Look at this. Spending the crap out of our uh, potion supply here, as we should, honestly, as we freaking should. All right. Ugh. What is up and in here? Is this is this a new area that we haven't been to? No, that's where we came in from, huh? All right. Let's head on over this way. Oh, jeez. Is there some sort of underwater treasure here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's pop on up here. Oh. Hey, fellas. Oh my gosh. They're both mad as hell. Gordon, you want to do something here? Let's fight him. Let's fuck him up. There we go. Oh my gosh. Look at Gordon getting in the AoEs. Good thinking, Gordon. That's smart. That's a real smart maneuver. Except for it's kind of hitting me, but hey, I don't mind. I just eat that shit for breakfast. Look at this. Dramora Lord doesn't even have a heart. Oh, look. That, this one does. And 
has a fantastic ebony staff. Don't mind if I do. That's some good stuff there, the ebony staves. You prefer staffs or staves? I think I prefer staves. Oh, look at this. This looks ominous as hell. Level 70 lock. Oh my god. What is this place? Is this like a mistake going in here? Is this about to be some big fucking shit going down? Trap disarmed. Oh my gosh, we were gonna have like one hell of an adventure going somewhere else, but... Man. Holy shit. Who knows what we're about to uncover in here. Probably Sane himself. Oh, it's one of you all. Hey, what's up? You wanna talk? No? Okay. Sure. Let's, uh, let's actually soul trap you. I got a... Oh no wait, I actually don't have a grand soul gem on me. It's fine. I can summon you guys whenever I want. It's A-okay. There you go. Yeah, take it. Oh my gosh. Wow, she was really guarding one hell of a fucking treasure. Look at these. Ancient silver daggers. Look, someone here has been sacrificed next to a shitload of loot! Gordon! Oh my god! What? Daedric face of inspiration! Gordon, are you inspired by all of this? Oh my god, you should be! This is inspiring as hell! Holy shazbot! Look at this place! Ebar dead? Oh my god! The cave dad giveth! Holy hell! Look at this. Some more sermons. They were reading sermons from Vivek in the Mystery of Talara. Alright. By Mera Linketh. Once we get the full set, we'll read the crap out of that. Alright. I think we've already got one or two books. I don't know if we have the full set, though. Uh, let's see. Should we... Yeah, we should definitely grab these. But let's start from the butt the back here. The butt back. Let's see. This is called proper looting order, right? Boom. Taking all of these. Let's see, what's inside this? It's a 10 lock. Sorry, Gordon, I'm gonna have to just nudge right by you there. Shit. Can't see jack crap. There we go. Alright. Oh, there we go, nice. What's in here? A glass bottle. Restore intelligence. Oh, some more crap potions. Alright, fair enough, I guess. I guess. Man, Invada Kavada Kavakis! People love that book! It's a bestseller here in Morrowind! Holy hell! Look at all these ancient silver daggers. Man, they love them. All right, sure. Let's pop these suckers open. Man, we are getting levels left and freaking right, aren't we? All right. Let's probe them. There we go. And there we go. All right. Let's see. What's inside? A whole bunch of goodies. Do you think any evil foul asshole is going to spawn in? Nah, probably not. Look at all... Oh, God! There is! Oh, my God, you scared me. Holy crap. Alright, well shit, let's take them all. <laughs> How many ghosts do you think are going to appear? Hopefully a shitload. Oh my god. I hope an absolute shitload of ghosts just pop out and start to go, Woo! Oh my gosh. Let's do it, baby! Give me all them ghosts! Oh my gosh, we're going to have Gordon fight all of them. Holy shit, I can't even loot all of these daggers because there are so many fucking ghosts now. Oh my god. Look at this. This is a ghost party! Woo! Ghosts! Come on, Gordon, fight some ghosts for me, pal! Oh, jeez, I can't... Come on, Gordon, I want... Hang on. Oh, I can't even get him! Oh, oh, there we go. Dope. How about this one? Nope, nothing. Oh, man. Look at this. This is a... Oh, my God, they took out Gordon. Gordon! Sick him, boy! Book him, Dano! Nothing? Oh, my God, Gordon. Come on. Come on, pal. Oh, jeez, I can't even see now. Oh, there was... Oh, gosh, I'm spamming E. Oh, there we go! Man, they spawn right on top of you, huh? All right, fair enough, I guess. Oh, gosh, come on, I just want this last one. Come on, ghost, let's party! Let's have a ghost party, baby! Shit. All right, oh my gosh! Man, Gordon, you're not doing too great beating these ghosts up. You're slowly getting them. I mean, I guess that's good enough. Man, did each one of these spawn a ghost? I feel like not each one did, but quite a few have. Let's see. Oh, almost. Uh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, see, that one didn't Oh, no, wait, maybe it did. I don't know. It seemed like some of the ones on the left did not spawn in. Oh, hey, shit, look at that up there in the top left. Do you see what I see? A loot, a loot. It's called Eliadon's Ward. Oh, my gosh, it's very valuable. Oh, my gosh! What kind of an ancient treasure have we uncovered? Oh, my God, a great one, apparently. A very, very great one. All right, holy crap. Let's see. Let's activate our uh, our Nerevar senses here. Let's see if I even remember where I bound it to. <laughs> Christ's sake. Oh shit, are we about to crash? 
Oh no! Gosh! I blame the ghosts! Oh my gosh, we'll be right back! Oh my gosh. The too many ghosts spawned in or something, I don't know. It ain't good. It ain't good at all. We'll be back! Wow, alright, we are back. Holy crap. Good thing we quick saved right before we opened this gigantic foreboding door. This gives us another chance to at least try and get um a crap ton of ghosts out for Gordon to battle. For Gordon to do some sweet ass fights with. Oh crap. Turn back on Kajito Vision here. There we go. Do we have the maximum number of possible daggers available to us? Eh, maybe. Yeah, let's... Oh, look. Because of how our menu is set up, we have to do it kind of in a dumb way. Alright, we're just gonna woot and loot. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Gordon, are you ready for the fight of the fucking century? There we go. Oh, look. Now we're getting... Oh, shit. This one has just appeared right up in our grill. We can't even have Gordon do an ultimate uh, WrestleMania 500. Look, Gordon, I've already got a fantastic, like, wrestling belt. Now it's up to you, pal. Look at him go! Go, Gordon, go! Fight off all these ghosts! Holy shit, Gordon! Oh my god! They're really fucking him up! Go, Gordon, go! Go, get him again! Get him again, Gordon! Hit him with that AoE, baby! Man, these ghosts don't hurt me for shit. They are real bad at doing damage. <laughs> yeah, Gordon, just keep spamming that AoE! Look at all these ghosts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there was an eighth one over there. I don't know. Oh my god. This is almost as many cliff racers as before. What ancient ancestors do you think these are? Because we are absolutely disturbing the shit out of their grave and their tomb. Oh my gosh. If uh, the Dunmer back home knew about what we were doing here, wow, we'd be in some big ass trouble. We'd probably go to prison or some shit. It's very frowned upon, you know, the whole ancestor worship thing. Look, there is another Invisi-Ghost here, and maybe this is what causes so much trouble. Look, you can just barely make it out. In fact, that's the case for, like, all of them. Maybe we need to dispose of their corpses to try and prevent another crash here. Look, we'll suck up some ectoplasm. Look at you, Gordon. You're a fucking Ghostbuster, dude. You're fucking nailing that shit. Holy crap. Alright, let's stow away that stuff. There we go. Ancestor Ghost. Disposing. Let's see. More of that. Oh, there we go. Nice. More ectoplasm. Yes, please. Let's suck that crap right up. Man, it's like we're loot- we looted one there, but it just didn't move. I guess there was like a stack of them or some such. Alright. Whoa, man. What a journey. What a fucking journey. Having to do it twice. Man, that's how you know it's- it's- it's a good, worthy loot, huh? My gosh, we've really plundered the crap out of this. Alright. Let's whip back out our plundering tools. Do a bit of, uh, trap disarming. There we go. Nice. Do these need, uh, nope. Alright, let's do some picking. Let's see, stick that sucker right up in there. There you go. And this one, oh, nice, got it in one. We do need another pick, though. Let's use this journeyman's one, it's already been used, like, twice. There we are, nice. Alright, these urns. Oh, no random, uh, good woot loot in that one. Oh, uh, well, that's, o that's okay. Let's see, some 257 gold right there. Oh, look, some different loot here. Corpse preparation. We've already got a full set of that. Hmm, exclusive spell reflection. That might actually be handy to just hold on to. Let's use this potion of light. Why the heck not? And let's see. Before we forget, let's grab this big sucker. Hell yeah, baby. Oh my god. What do you think this thing is... Do you think this is used in some quest? Look at this sucker. Oh my god. Awesome. Alright. Let's see, what do we have up... Here, let's grab, uh, this Daedric shit. Do you have anything on you? No, nah, just some bone meal. Alright, there you go. I'll put that right on your... <laughs> That's very disrespectful to the dead. Alright, let's loot that crap up. There we go. Nice. A Daedric Battle Axe. I don't think we have that yet in our collection. Awesome. Alright. Let us also drink some old Sujama, huh? Or we have some Flynn as well. We can drink a bit of Flynn. Let's see. Eh, we may as well drink the Sujama. It weighs more. The, the Flynn, I think, is more efficient, ultimately, for its weight. Although I do love a good Sujama, huh? Don't you? Alright, let's see. Got some diamonds. Gold. Do we need this Marisen, uh cuirass? I don't think so. Same goes for this ebony broadsword. Here, we can just dump them out here. If we ever come back here for some reason, and we're like, oh man, maybe we were really short on money. For whatever reason. I mean, especially after all this. Pfft, there's no way we're going to need this money. Holy crap. We're freaking loaded now. Oh, look, a Shield of Light this is actually on her. I had to kill her again. Now, look, Glass Dagger. I guess we'll take that off of her. Sure. 
Fair enough. All right, I think that's a full ass clear here. I think that is exactly what's going on here. All right. Ugh, man, it looks weird when we're using a light spell rather than a uh, the Kajito vision. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Oh, let's see. Let's activate our uh, Nerevar senses. And see if there's any. Oh, look, there are actually a few woot loots around here that we maybe missed. I don't freaking know. Let's see. Oh gosh. How how in the hell? Oh god. Oh. Oh gosh. Is this? Oh, that's the main room. There. Well, yeah. There's probably a bunch of stuff that we dumped back there. All right, let's use it in here, though. Let us freaking use it right up in here. Because, look, maybe there is actually a little something-something that we missed. Let's see. What could it be? Um, oh, shit. I'm over-encumbered. Right, because we're out of Sujama power. Fair enough! All right, let's see. Um, let us whip on Kajito Vision. Let's see. Was it in here? No, no. All right, where is it? Let's see. Well, let's just use it again. Oh, it's out of charge. Shit, son. All right. Let's see. So there were two things in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Her shield and this cuirass. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, I think we... Full clear. Full clear, right? Full ass clear. All right. Good shit. Let's see. Should we get the hell on out of here? I think we should. I think we really should. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Man. So I guess that's uh that's really something that we've done there for the Mages Guild, huh? Holy wackadoo. I guess we'll have to come back later in the future. All right. Well, or no, we probably won't have to. We've already done everything. We'll just, uh, you know, we'll drop all this loot back off at uh, Balizra. In fact, let's do that now because we are massively over encumbered. Let's recall. Oh, heading on back. Oh, my gosh. What an amazing trip. Look, we were planning to go to the Cavern of the Incarnate, but holy crap, all the things that we found along the way. Oh, my God. Just a treasure trove of bullshit. Fantastic bullshit, though. Found a weird, cool-looking shield hung up on the ceiling. Oh my gosh. Man, I was a little worried it was about to crash there because of loading in all the crap here. Alright, here, let's just stash it inside of here. Look at this. This is my secret stash where I just put all this crap. Let's see. Boom. Oh man, it won't even fit. Oh no. There's no way it's gonna fit in here. <laughs> yep. Okay, fair enough. Shit. Alright, do we have a battle axe? No, we don't. Alright. Man, just snorting some sugar over there. Alright, fair enough. Sort of the battle axe down here, you know, we can adjust it later. Uh, we'll throw down a, uh, Daedric Staff, I guess, another one. Why the hell not? We'll just throw all this shit right here. Kind of keep it a little bit separate, that way it's easier to discern. Put the longbow on the floor, oh my gosh, littering big time. Look at this, a face of inspiration. We got Daedric Shield here, ooh, man, that looks scary as shit. What is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like a Dramora or something? Oh my god, that looks scary as hell. Holy shit. All right, let's whip up. Oh my gosh. This is one of our first um, Daedric helmets, I think, added to our collection. These things are rare as heck, aren't they? All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, are you excited for this? Oh my gosh, it's our very first one. Wow, Daedric face of inspiration. It's not very inspiring to look at it. It's actually quite creepy. It really creeps me the fuck out, I gotta say. All right, anything else here that we need to dump off before I forget? No, I think we're A-OK. -okay. I think so. Oh, look, we don't need this House Dagoth cup. I dropped off the shield. I have totally forgot about the cup. There we go. Yeah, we don't need that. Look, there, it can start vaping around and all sorts of good stuff. All right. Oh, man, yeah, we have all these taggers. <laughs> yeah, what do we do about them? I don't really know. Maybe we should just dump them somewhere? Should we just dump them somewhere? Oh, maybe. I don't know, dude. I do not know. Here, let's just put all the daggers here on this thing. No, we probably shouldn't. That's so many pointless polygons to add to this place. Here, can we stick them in here? No, shit! They won't fit! Here, let's put, put them inside of one of these urns. Here, we'll put them inside here. Oh, no, wait. We'll put them inside this one that has the candle on top. There, that way we'll we'll kind of know that this, this urn is just a little bit special because it's full of ancient silver daggers. Oh, my gosh. Why do you think the silver daggers were driven through their skulls? That's a little spooky. How many is that? Eight of them, huh? Yeah, weird. Maybe they were all vampires or something. Oh my god. You think we just went into a vampire grave? Like some vampire hunter was running around killing vamps? And then just had like a shitload of silver daggers and that was the only way to make sure that they stayed dead. Right? Holy crap. That's pretty damn scary. I mean, you'd think that if it were a vampire hunter... 
they'd bury uh, the vampires at uh, some other place that was not a Daedric ruin. That seems like the last place you would want to bury some vampires. That's like a good recipe for them to uh, come back to life and want to ruin your fucking day, right? All right, let's see. Let's heal up here and uh, hmm. let's go for about 13 hours. That's way That way it's daylight. We'll jump on over to, uh, oh my god, terrible day. All right, we'll, we'll rest for about two more hours. That way, because, you know, if it's going to be stormy, at least we want it to be a little light out. Good god, man. All right. Let's Mario time all the way on back over to the Urshalaku camp. Holy crap. We've just gone in one big-ass circle of going around to Daedric Ruins. Jeez, I'm Pete. Oh, shit. Look at that. We've messed it up again. Oh, shit. There we go. Woo! Man, once again, kind of messed up the, uh, <laughs> the velocity on it. Fair enough, I guess. Well, let's continue on up over this way. Huh? There we go. Oh, shit. Woo! Just barely avoided hitting trees and shit along the way. Oh my gosh. One of these days, we're going to get rid of all these gigantic fart storms going on. We're going to put a big old butt plug right up dig out there's asshole. Make him stop farting all the damn time. That way, you know what, we can actually live out here in peace and enjoy nice sunsets and beautiful shit like that. Instead of just like waking up and being farted on like crazy. Man, speaking of, for fuck's sake, good lord, man. There are a shitload of them after us. We're just going to keep fucking going, though. We ain't got time for that. Maybe the uh, local guards will do something. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Who knows? Let's see. Urshalaku Camp, you're right up here and around the bend, aren't you? Oh, good God, man. Ugh! There we go. Whew! Jeez! Oh, shit! All right, there we go. Whew! All right, now, originally, I wanted to go to one of the places that they, that they referred to on the map. You know, as uh, they were giving us directions to the Cavern of the Incarnate. Because I felt like that was a good battle plan. But instead, we, we went to that one that was sort of along the way. I still think we should go to some of these. Like, um, Elisa Zerganapal, right? We could go to um, Valen Varian. Eh, maybe we'll hold off on that. We'll go to Zerganapal. And then we'll go to the Cavern of the Incarnate. I'm pretty, There's probably also... I'm pretty sure there's also some other shit up in here. Probably. I think... They mentioned at least one other locale, right? I want to say that is the case. Good lord. Alright, and let's mosey on up here. Oh, there we go. And let's pop this sucker. Oh, there we go. Man, ain't that great when we... There we go. Oh, oh. Let's see. That's uh, Urshalaku up and over there. Alright, we'll just cut right the heck through here. Oh my god. I gotta say, it's a really shitty day. Can we maybe wait just a little bit longer and see if this clears up? Because, my God, what a sad thing. This is one of my favorite areas, and look, it's being tainted by Dagoth Ur's tainted asshole. But hey, I guess that's motivation to clear that shit right the hell up, right? My God, what a terrible ass. What a terrible, terrible ass! Good Lord, we're doing drive-by hits on rats and cagooties. Oh my gosh, we're just mad as hell. Boom, there we go. We're not going to Valen Varian. We're not. As much as I would like to, we're not doing it. We got too damn sidetracked already. Who would have thought that that little tiny cave would end up having a humongous treasure trove of woot loots? Not me, that's for damn sure. I had no idea. Who's never done the Mages Guild questline in this game? Me. That's who. Holy shit. I've only ever done the shit for uh, Ajira at the Balmora uh, area because the rest of it was just too damn scary. I got scared, man. I got scared. I was like, oh my gosh. All sorts of shit going bump in the night. Rats fighting rats out here. I can fight a rat. That's not too damn scary. This is like some kind of rat nest, by the way. What was up with that? All right. Let's continue our way over here. Good lord, it's really out here. Man, we are we are way out here in the in the wastes. Jeez. Look, there's even a nice little uh Omalan ancestral tomb out here. Man. All right. If we hadn't already gone to that one place, I would absolutely go in there. But we'll have to come back for it. There'll be plenty enough reason to come on back here and do some fantastic exploration, huh? But for the time being, we're going to Zerganapal, and then we're going to the old fantastic Cavern of the Incarnate. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, let's activate our Mario time there. Whoa. Get ourselves through here. The, the fart clouds are really not making it an easy task to uh, sort of, you know, jump right into it. I mean, they have, like, sort of a push in the other direction, don't they? 
Oh, there we go. Is that Zergana Pal? Is it actually a, a Dwemer Ruin? Huh. I had no idea. Let's see. Is this Zergana Pal? No, this is something else. What the hell is that? Maybe that's some sort of vampire lair. Jeez, I don't want to go in there. Fight some vamps. Here we go. This looks like a Zergana Pal. All right. Here we go. Oh, we're right up here. Oh, my gosh. Right up into the freaking chapel. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. Is there some asshole down there? Oh, yes, there is. There's a shitload of them as well. There are a shitload of them. Are there any areas here that are, like, height restricted that we can only access with a super jump or a super levitate? I don't think so. Oh, shit, look. There are some orcs here. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. There we go. What's up, orcs? Are you all friendly? Or are you some sort of dark cultist? I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Ulam Groshughan. How can I help you? Uh, tell me your background. Oh, you're a healer. Okay. Tell me about Cartag Point. Glorious Cartag Point. Very famous for orcs. Great hero Cartag, who had fought some battle or something, died there. Very famous. <laughs> All right. Tell me uh, background. Uh, Skuma. No, okay. We, we've heard about that. Latest rumors. At first. Oh, has this changed? At first, it seemed the fuss about the Nerevarine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that Dunmer have been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call... Oh, yeah, we've heard of that. The tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the temple goes out, hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? Ew, I wonder why. All right, advice. So far, we haven't been hunted down yet. All right, little advice. Are you interested in the healer's trade in Morrowin? Maybe you should talk to... Igfa at Fort Pelagiad in Pelagiad Village. She's very nice, experienced, and very patient with questions. All right. A secret. Have you heard of this new cult, the Sixth House? They say they sit around in caves, cutting off pieces of their own flesh and eating it. It's that corpus disease. Makes the flesh grow wild and crazy. Cut a piece off, and another piece grows back. Bigger and better. Guards say we're looking into it. Right. That makes me feel better. Man, so they really do eat those. I was just kidding. Oh my gosh, I had no idea they were actually eating those... Ugh. Those big hunks of meat? Jesus Christ. How does that even work? How... I mean, you know, like... Law of thermodynamics or something. Preservation of matter? Or preservation of energy, right? Where's the energy come from? I don't know. I mean, okay. It is literally called the divine disease. It's magic, right? A wizard did it. All right. Uh, my trade... Oh, look, Morrowind lore. Rural Dunmer live in villages, groups of small huts centered around temple compounds. Huh. I'm a healer. I have sworn solemn oath in, in the College of Restoration to heal the afflicted and cure the diseased. But I have also learned that preventing harm to others often requires a more active opposition to monsters and malefactors. So I have studied both the unarmed and uh, the unarmed, unarmored martial arts of the Khajiit and the light armored and blunt weapon styles of the Imperial West, both for self-defense and for disabling or killing dangerous opponents. All right, what do you have to say about orcs? They call us barbarians because we are brave and war- Yeah, we've heard about this. Okay, yeah, fair enough. What about you, Yargol Gro Bashnag? What do you have to say? Background, you're a warrior. Okay, my trade? I'm a warrior by trade. I know how to fight when necessary. I much rather look so tough that critters give up or run away from me or run away when they see me personally i favor long blades of all kinds they use long blades of many different styles and craftsmanships here in morrowind and i wear medium armor for a decent balance of protection and mobility but i train with various weapon types and armor types and like any good warrior i'm my own armor i want to fight with worn weapons and worn armor yeah right i should probably do that buy from merchants yep we know about that a little advice model of, uh, if you were to ask me for the model of a warrior, I would have to say Miles Glorisius. He's at the Endus Trade House in Margon now, on a crusade to kill off all the monsters sneaking through the ghost fence. But he always has time to talk with an admirer. I think we've heard of that one, actually. We've talked to a few warriors in our time. Uh, yep, we've heard of that, about the Nerevarine prophecy, and everybody thinks it's a silly superstition. But, thanks for reminding me, let's repair up some of our crap, because we have done a fair bit of combat, haven't we? We've done a fair bit. All right, anything out here worth looking at before we head inside uh, uh, Zergana Pal? I don't think so. So far, it's just a bunch of 
orcs and evildoers. Why aren't these uh, orcs concerned about these evildoers, by the way? There's literally a clan fear right here. Seems pretty damn dangerous, huh? At least I think so. Holy crap. Scare the, scare the shit out of me, honestly. And look, Satan himself is here as well. Hello, Satan. Here, Gordon, do your stuff. Let's, let's, let's fucking go, Gordon. Let's fight him. Oh my gosh, look. We don't have a mask quite like his yet, do, do we? Looks a lot like the Redoran one, doesn't it? Maybe they base the design off of it. Oh, spooky. Oh, look, a winged twilight out here as well. Just slaying all sorts of fools. There we go. Maybe she'll have some fantastic loot loot for us. Yeah, she did. Great. All right, probably shouldn't have disposed of her corpse, but hey. Maybe if we get another winged twilight, we'll get some more void salts. Which, you know what? Is A-OK -okay by me. Making custom magicka potions? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I want that. All right, let's quick save and head on up inside. Check out Zarganapal. Looks like there's only one entrance. Let's consult the local map. Uh, well, it doesn't actually tell us shit about how to even get in here. Yeah, it doesn't even show the, the entrance, despite it clearly being... Oh, look, okay, maybe we didn't get close enough. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll, I, I believe that. I'll buy that. Even though we totally just, like, saw it. We saw it with our, with our seeing eyes. All right, let's lay down an egg here. All right, where do we keep our eggs? Are they magic? Are eggs considered magic? No, they must be considered misc. Gosh, you'd think I would remember by now, but no. All right, there we go. Zerganapal. Here we go. Fantastic. All right, let's whip on Kajito Vision and have a poke around in here. Let's see. Knock, knock. Who's in here? Are there any more uh, healing friendly orcs? I wouldn't mind that. Oh, my God. Who the fuck is this guy? All right. Sure. I'm ready to jam up in here. Look, a pretty small one, all things considered. Probably doesn't even have some sort of ancient artifact shield. Oh, by the way, we totally forgot to stash that shield. We're just carrying around 30 units of weight worth of ancient artifact. <laughs> Fair enough. Good lord. Let's see. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, no, have we pissed off all the orcs? Are the ones outside going to be mad, too? I hope not. Oh, my god. Look, she's got, like, some sort of... Oh, my god. They're making some sort of beastly howl. She's got, like, a scarecrow mask. She's like a Batman villain. Oh, my god. Let's see. Who was it under si underneath? Oh, my gosh, it was... It was Shalur Gra, your girl, the whole time. Oh, man. Who would have thought? Jeez. <laughs> All right. What do you have, uh... Gorlors Grow Magok? Anything good? A steel longsword? Now it looks like you've just got a bunch of stuff that's crap right now for us. We are way out of your league, pal. Here, let's quick save in case some god-awful thing shows up and really ruins our freaking day. Taking it all, diamonds, raw ebony, yes, please. Oh, where are you? There you are, pal. Oh, look, this one's got a Daedric weapon. Don't mind if I freaking do. Man, yeah, and he really whipped poor Gordon. Look, Gordon went down on his knees for him. Jeez. All right, what do you got? A Daedric short sword. I don't know if we have one of those. Now nah, we must. Surely we must. A Daedric short sword? That ain't that amazing, is it? Nah, I think we've got one already. All right, let's see. Trap, trapped. All right. Let's whip out the old probes here. See what we can do. There we go. Prentice's probe. Nice. All right. And over here. Ah, look at this. A dreg club. Okay. Chest of fire. Oh, my God. What a hot, sexy chest. Chest ahead. Am I right or, or am I right? Jeez. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Amazing chest ahead, I should say. Look, 12, uh... Man, they really love reading about Vivek in these places. You'd think they would hate him, but hey, I guess... They really, uh, want to know about their enemies, right? Oh, whoops. Here, we actually need to pick this one, too. Get the journeyman's pick going on. There we go. What's inside? Spirit Strike Ring. Huh, it's pretty valuable. We'll take it. Origin of the Mages Guild. Oh, is this the same one that we read, um... Is this the same one that we read all the way back in, uh... Yeah. As Venus Galarian, uh, himself said bitterly leaving Tamriel to the... The guild has become nothing more than an intricate morass of political infighting. Yeah, if you want... If you haven't seen, uh... The Oblivion playthrough... Hey, check it out. We read through that book already. Like I said, uh, last time, we're, we're definitely going to consider... Whipping up some sort of fantastic super... Thing that shows off, uh... Everything that we've ever read, ever. Could be fun. But also, at the same time, a shitload of work. 
Man, look, they probably buy their candles from the same place that the uh, Sixth House does, huh? <laughs> all right. Well, look at all this shit. Detect animal? Look, we're just going to guzzle all these suckers down. Fire shield? Yeah, please. All right. Summon a flame at your neck? All right. And a, uh, oh, wait, what is this? A golden saint. Oh, wow. All right. Sure. That ain't half bad. And a lot of shoes. Weird. A lot of shoes. That is very strange. Look, can we talk to this dude? Who is this? Is this Malakath? Is that why there's orcs here? Let's see. Orcs fucking love Malakath, don't they? Just like how the Dunmer love the shit out of Azura, right? Nope, looks like nothing. Alright, well, let's go back out here and see if these fellows have anything to say after we have slain their comrades in arms, presumably. I don't know, maybe they were here to cleanse them. Yeah. Well, what do you know? It's you, Lyle. I was just thinking of you. Do you need anything? Oh, man, I hope you weren't thinking about me potentially killing all of your friends in there. I hope they weren't your friends. You, you know any, anybody in, who was in there? No? All right. Well, holy crap. Well, when next we come back next week, we will head further down to the... Well, that's not the Cavern of the Incarnate. It's somewhere... <sighs> shit, it's it's like right about here. We're, we're getting real damn close. We're slowly making our way there. Uh, nonetheless, right now, holy crap, a little bit of reading. Oh, my gosh. I set aside and I was carrying around... A book. I was like, hey, you know what? Maybe it's about time we finally read this. The Hope of the Rhetoran. I don't think we've ever read this one. And you know what? I don't have it written down in my handy dandy notebook. Um, so, you know what? We're going to hit this one up. And uh, you know what? If you want to skip out on the reading, if you're not interested in that, we'll see you again next week. Where, you know what? Like I said last week, we're going to the Cavern of the Incarnate. Man, it's a slow and steady process. We, uh, we get caught off guard by a lot of shit. That's just the way this goes sometimes, huh? You encounter all sorts of fun stuff along the way. And you know what? This time, it really fucking paid off. Sometimes we find jack shit, we just find like a bunch of scribs fucking each other inside of uh, some giant cave where they're all like shitting out ebony and stuff. But this time, we found some rare-ass artifact and some weird skull setup. Holy crap. That was weird as hell. All right. So, let us do the hope of rhetoric. Let me write this down here in my notebook. The hope of the rhetoric. Now, I don't expect this one to be some kind of fantastic play. <laughs> Good lord. Hopefully not, because, yeah, last time, that really... That was a real fucking strain on the voice, doing all, <laughs> all the fucking voices. Oh my god. What a, what a fucking harsh li way to live. Alright. The Hope of the Rhetoric by Turiel Nereth. One of the few magical arts the Sigic oh wow, the Sigics of Arteum have kept to themselves, away from the common spells and schools of the Mages Guild, is the gift of divination. Despite this, or perhaps because of it, omens and prophecies are bound in Tamriel, some of substance, others of pure folly, and still others so ambiguous as to be unverifiable. There are still other prophecies kept secret, from the prophecies of Drojizad in Elsewhere and the Nerevarine in Morrowind. Oh, shit. Huh, that seems like it's alluding to something big time in a future game, Drojizad. Oh my gosh. Or perhaps it's already occurred in a past game, I just don't freaking know it. To the Elder Scrolls themselves, the Nord nobility have a tradition of having omens read for their children. In general, these readings are of the obscure variety. One of the men, one of my acquaintances told me that her parents were told, for example, that their daughter would have her life rescued by a snake, and so gave her the name Serpentkin in a special ceremony. Wow, that's a bad name. And this young lady, Erika Valkor Serpentkin, was indeed saved by a snake many years later. What? When an assassin creeping up on her, creeping on her, stepped on a Danceworm Viper. Holy shit, what did she do to warrant an assassin to come after her? Holy hell. Occasionally, omens seem to be almost purposefully misleading, as if Boethia had crafted them as traps. I recall one particularly. Many, many years ago, a male child was born into House Rhetoric. It was a very difficult birth, and the mother was delirious after and near death by the time it was over. She chanted just as her son came into the world, and she passed from it. 
Fortune has smiled this day, not frowned. My child will be mighty in mind and in arm. He shall bring hope to House Rhetoric. Neither spell nor blade shall hurt the man, nor illness nor poison cause any harm. His blood shall never drop on the ground. The boy, named Andes, was indeed extraordinary. He never was ill and never suffered so much as a scratch through his all through his childhood. He was also quite intelligent and strong, which, combined with his invulnerability, caused many to call him, after his mother's omen, the Hope of the Rhetoran. Of course, anyone who is called the Hope of the Rhetoran will eventually develop some taint of impertinence, and it wasn't long before he had enemies. His worst enemy was his cousin, Athan, who had borne much abuse at the hands of Andes. Primary among the grudges was that Athan had been sent to Rihad to complete his education at Andes' insistence. When Athan returned from Hammerfell, it was because of the death of his father, who had also been a counselor of the house. Athan was old enough to take his seat in the council, but Andes claimed the seat as well, saying that his cousin had been gone too long from Morwen and didn't understand politics as he did. The majority of the house agreed with Andes, wanting to see the hope of Redoran rise quickly. Athan exercised his right to combat his cousin for the seat. No one thought he had any chance of winning, of course, but the battle was scheduled to commence the following morn. Andas whored and dined and drank with the counselors that night, confident that his place in the house was secured and the hopeful new dawn of House Redoran was rising. Athan retired to his castle with his friends, Andas' enemies, and his servants he had brought from Hammerfell. Athan and his friends were discussing the duel morosely when one of his old teachers, a warrior called Shardy, came into the hall. She had grown quite proud of her student over the years in Hammerfell, proud enough to accompany him across the Empire to his family's lands, and wanted to know why they had so little confidence in his odds in the battle. They explained to her Andes's uncommon blessings and the nature of his mother's omen. If he can't be harmed by disease, poison magica, and his blood can never be spilled, what hope have I of ever besting him? cried Athan. Have you remembered nothing I taught you? replied Shardy. Is there no weapon you can think of that will slay without blood? Are swords and spears and arrows the only items in your arsenal? Athan quickly realized the weapon Shardy was speaking of, but it seemed absurd. A spoon? He, so he said? <laughs> no, not only absurd, but pathetic and primitive. Still, it was the only hope he had. Oh, the hope of the Rhetoran, right? Damn, what a good line. All that night, Shardy trained him in the art and techniques, showing him the various swings and stances her people had developed in Albion Gora, counterattacks, feints, and blocks imported from Yokuda, the classic one and two-handed grips for the most ancient weapon in history. The cousins faced one another the next morning, and never have two combatants look so unevenly matched. Andas's entrance brought a great cheer, for not only was he much beloved for not only was he much beloved as the hope of the Rhetoran, but as his victory was a foregone conclusion, most wanted to be in good standing with him. Ah, that makes sense. His shining mail and blade drew admiration and awe. By contrast, Athan drew a gasp of surprise and only a smattering of polite applause. He, s he appeared costumed and armed like a barbarian. As Shardy suggested, Athan allowed Andes to attack first. The hope of the Redoran was eager to finish the battle and take the power he deserved quickly. The blade pushed by Andes' mighty arm slashed across Athan's chest, but shallowly, and before it could be counterswung, 
Aethan knocked it back with his own weapon. When Aethan attacked and wounded Andas, the hope of the Redoran was so surprised by being hurt for the first time in his life, he dropped his sword. The less said about the end of the battle, the better. Suffice it to say that Aethan, wielding a simple club, battered Andas to death without spilling a drop of blood. Aethan took his father's seat as counselor, and it was then said that the hope and the omen referred to Aethan, not Andas. After all, had Andas not tried to take the counselor's seat away from his cousin, Aethan, being not very ambitious, might have never tried to get it. It can certainly be argued that way, I suppose. Oh! So in the end, it, it ended up like, oh yeah, because he was so full of himself, he really never uh, gave too much of a shit about really much, because he just, you know, expected everything to be easy as hell. But this dude, he worked really fucking hard to try and get it, and even through working that hard, it wasn't until the very end, without the help of his, uh, his ancient mentor and friend, and potentially lover, that uh, he was able to finally figure out a way to best his cousin. Oh my gosh. I guess the moral of the story is... Don't be a dickhead and try hard. But sometimes, if you try hard, you, you might just get screwed over by a dickhead. But maybe you'll have someone who will teach you the way of uh, just hitting them over the head with a club. <laughs> anyway, till next time, peace. Peace.